what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump in really quick and check this energy i was scrolling and found found a spread that really intrigued me and it was talking about basically can you balance out this relationship can whatever relationship this is for you um take a deep breath take a moment to clear your mind and just think about the relationship that you think needs balancing out in your life um, so this is going to be for your Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Let's see, family. Let's see. Let's see. Can Sagittarius Ninth House Collective balance this relationship out? How is this relationship out of balance? Where is my Sagittarius overextending themselves? How can they bring themselves into balance? How will the other energy respond to the changes? How will the other energies respond to the change? Three of Pentacles is where it's out of balance. So there could be some third party um, energy here. Where is Sagittarius overextending themselves? Wow, the Eight of Pentacles. You're really putting in all the work on this situation. How can you bring this into balance? The Seven of Swords in the reverse. Begin to listen to your conscious mind. Um, take, like, see this for what it is and don't try to, um, like, take the uh, jaded glasses off. Rose-colored glasses. Um, how will the other party react to this change? The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, <clears throat> the Four of Cups is the... Um, so with the King of Pentacles in the reverse for how this person is going to react to this change. Um, I feel like that... I think that you're going to see how unwilling this person is to put work in on this connection. I do feel like that this is going to come off as a very much so missed opportunity. Um, I feel like that there is something better that's coming in, but you first must shift your focus away from this without having the act, like without projecting. Um, this is really the energy of seeing this for what it is, not allowing yourself to be blind to the truth. Um, and moving forward and not allowing this experience to jilt your future experiences. That's really what I'm getting. So where this relationship is out of balance is the three of pentacles. There's definitely not equal collaboration here, equal dedication here. One person wants this more than the next, clearly. And there's also something about this is very financial based or very materialistic based. Okay. So, um, there's definitely something very practical about this encounter with one another. What is the Three of Pentacles? Like, why is the Three of Pentacles here for where this relationship is out of balance? Wow, the lovers, there's definitely more than one person here. Yes, there's definitely more than one person here. Um, there's the Queen of Cups that's showing up. Um, this could be someone, Not this is, when I get the Queen of, okay, slow down. When I get the Queen of Cups, this really definitely tells me this is the mother. This is the mother energy. So I would assume that this person isn't necessarily um, married. Okay. Um, but I definitely feel like that there is mothering energy that comes from there. So they could share children or this person just knows how to nurture their wounds very well. Okay. Um, so... There could be something of a new beginning. Like there could be some sort of, I don't know. It's telling me that there's, there's another energy for sure that's showing up here. And it appears to me that um, there's, there's a new beginning that is blossoming, blooming right now. Um, with another energy and that brings this choice in 
Um, it could have started around June the 3rd. Between June the 3rd and June the 13th is when this new beginning could have begun. Give or take a week. Okay, so what is this? Uh, so the how is Sagittarius overextending themselves? Is the Eight of Pentacles? What is this? And this could be because like this right here could be where you have decided to focus more on your work and not this connection. And um, the Knight of Pentacles. Look at all of this Pentacle energy. Um, I don't know. I think maybe you may be trying to look too far out into the future and that's where you're overextending yourself. You're focused more on the long-term goal. You're focused diligently on achieving some sort of long-term goal. And I'm, I'm not sure that there's a long-term outcome with this person because if you stopped focusing on the long term then and you brought yourself into the present moment then I feel like what you would see is some red flags here yeah I'm finding a balance there's definitely a need to really balance out being present here in the moment as well as striving to achieve achieve, achieve your goal um hmm how can Sage bring themselves back into balance? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. What is this spirit? The moon card, yes, it's time to see this for like the moon in the reverse. It's time to see this for what it really is. The nine of swords, and I feel like that to see this for what it really is brings about some sort of anxiety here. Confirmation, I don't know if you heard that vibration, but July 18th could be very significant. I feel like that there's going to be a major turning point, a major shift. For those of you all that are resonating with this storyline around July the 18th, for sure. Um, I feel like that there's going to be a revelation of what's possible and what's not possible. Because I feel like that with the changes and the shifts in order to bring yourself back into balance, you're going to see this person. And um, this person is not going to be willing to... Um, they're going to go in the direction that is more stable and solid and confirming like that, that, that predictable. Thank you, spirit. I do see this person going towards the more predictable. I'm going to say greedy, but what I feel like it is, is like someone doesn't want to work for this person doesn't want to put in the work for what it is that they're seeking. So there is a situation around this person that could have possibly started around June the 13th, June the 3rd through June the 13th, give a week or so. There's something that took place there that already, like, it requires less of this person. Let's see. Why is this person, um, why is the King of Pentacles in the reverse? How this is going to affect... Let me finish it. Let me wrap this up, y'all. The world is coming through. All right, Spirit. Let's see. Oops. So we have, wow. So we have the Seven of Wands and the Empress in the reverse. Confrontations may arise. Um, and uh, these, I do feel like that the, when this confrontation arises, that's going to stagnate the growth. So I definitely don't feel like that this is someone that's going to be willing to put in the work and the effort that it's going to take to grow this connection. Okay. And right now, this person definitely, it appears like that there was a choice that presented itself um, that this person is either already emotionally invested in or um, there's already a level of tangibility established there. 
Three of Cups, yeah. The confrontation may arise within some sort of reunion that this person is having. So what is this person um what is what is this person's likely actions towards a Sagittarius with everything that's been said? Um the major arcana is on the board. We do have Gemini, we do have Taurus and Libra as well as Cancer. So we have uh the seven of pentacles and the magician. Mm. I feel like that this person, they're going to try to make it seem, I think that the, the next likely actions is this person is going to make some sort of fruitless offer. Okay. I feel like that this person is going to try to give a vision of where things could go. They're going to try to offer something, but unfortunately I do feel like that the results will be very much so less than expected. Okay. Um, I feel like that there's going to be meander res results, rewards, because this person is in some manipulative energy because of the four of pentacles, I mean, the four of cups right back at the bottom of the deck. Um, so I definitely feel like that there's a loss in the monotony here. So I, I, I definitely feel like that um, once somebody stops putting in, I feel like it's you, Sag. You stop putting in because this is how you're overextending yourself. I feel like that you're over, like you're the one that's putting in all the work here. So I feel like if that stops, then you would see just how little this person really is giving versus how much they're just responding. Okay, they're not giving much. They're just responding. And um, that matters here because there is an external energy here. Let's look at something. And then we're going to close this thing right on up. I just don't want to shortchange y'all too, too much. Show me what I'm, show me what Sag needs to know um, to wrap this message up, Spirit. What does Sag need to know to wrap this message up? Hmm. Guys, if you feel like this is your storyline, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below, guys. It does help circulate us into the YouTube algorithm, but it also just lets me, your reader, know that we are tap, tapping into your storyline. Um, yeah, I knew a lot was coming. I knew a lot was going to come through because I kind of zoned out. Um, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this person is going to make their decision however they make their decision, but this person does come back around the bend. Um, and, and so I feel like that it's in your best and highest good to put boundaries up now and understand that the timing may be off. So firm bound. Yeah. My ears are ringing and everything. Yes. Oh my goodness. Forgiveness, boundaries, forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Go slow. Take the time to get to know one another. Um, that This person does wish things was different. You know what I'm saying? But you already, it says your true love is already a part of your life. So this person does bend the block. That's what, like, that's what I know. And that's what I feel. And so I feel like that if you stop, like, if you recognize, yeah, this person can't, look, I can't stop thinking about you. But this person recognizes, oh my God, thank you, Spirit. This person recognizes that they have to make a decision right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's something about this person not being in the position to put the work and the effort in now because of something that just started. I'm going to say um, within a week of June the 3rd through June the 13th. Okay, for sure. But look, this person will be back around for a second chance. This person absolutely like loves being in your energetic space is very intoxicating however um i would advise you to like not move this to like move slow go navigate this with firm boundaries let this be your practice run for your boundaries but go slow in this 
because you're still having to forgive yourself as well as past situations right now. And who knows, through whatever this experience is that this person is going through, they may have to forgive someone. And they have to, like, if they don't choose that that direction, then they don't, in, then, then they miss or delay the opportunity to integrate the lesson of forgiveness. Let's see, where is this relation, where is this situation headed in a, in a month? Where is this headed in a month? Where is this headed in a month? Ah, ha! Flattering hearts. I'm enjoying the romance and deciding if you want more. So in a month, go slow. Take your time. Don't rush it. I feel like that in a month, there's going to be some sort of sweet conversation about discussing the future. There's going to be some sort of sweet conversation, romantic conversation as it pertains to the future. But you must be willing to go slow. Wow. And embrace changes along the way. For one, it's creating some sort of endurance within this relationship here. Wow, empowered love. Okay, so I definitely feel like so show me the energy of this situation at this present moment. Show me show me this message for the present moment, please. Thank you. Wow. It says you create positivity and warmth together. Make a good um make a good home life. Um put your family first and spend time with your family. Um I think right now where this situation is is people are putting their home and that's what's absolutely needed here is to put a focus on what's important to you. Okay, I do feel like that there is a need to put some sort of important shift. I like really shift your focus and attention to your home life and the relationship, the family that you have around you at this time. There's something significant about that. So I don't necessarily feel like that this is something that you're doing. Yeah, breaking free. Okay, so I don't necessarily feel like that this is something that you're doing together. I feel like that this is something that you all are doing separate. And I feel like that the reason why this is breaking free at the bottom of the deck is because you're having to learn your new flow. There's a new flow because there is some sort of separation from doing things um, I guess within a family dynamic to now doing it not so much in a family dynamic. Yeah, building a strong foundation with combined efforts. Um, I will say this. I do feel like that someone put a lot of time and energy and effort into building a sturdy, solid foundation with someone that is not let me see something it's, it's, it doesn't appear to be in the healthiest energetic space let me get what's the energy what is the energy of the person that Sagittarius is dealing with what is their energy towards this Queen of Cups what is their energy towards this Queen of Cups? Their energy towards that Queen of Cups is they're afraid to contact them. Um, this person taught them a hell of a spiritual lesson. Um, this, yes, thank you, Spirit. It says I hear about there was a material connection with them, their past person. And the person that you're dealing with, this Queen of Cups, that I do feel like that's something, like some sort of spark 
was still seen. And so it's like they all were <laughs> trying to blow it back to life. I don't feel like that it'll be long term, but it is something that must be. It is part of the journey. And um, this person, I do feel like that there is something being experimented inside of that. And this and that's like. This person. I don't know. Maybe they don't. The, the final nail hasn't been put in the coffin is what I keep hearing. There's obstacles to closing that out. There's obstacles to putting that final nail in the coffin. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. People aren't really trying like i feel like that there could be more in manipulation that's going on over there in an effort to get like their ulterior motives is what i would say yeah i am not this person is not available i want you to know that this person isn't available right now um this person will come to desire yeah fi because of finances i can't make this up there is this energy of this person coming to terms and coming to peace and recognizing that they, they, they shortchanged you, but they're just not there yet. They're just not there yet, Sag. This is the message for how to, if you can balance this situation out. Um, and I would say that the only way to balance this out is to surrender to divine timing. That's what I would say, and it's definitely not by continuing to put in all of your work here. Also, make sure that you're taking some vacation for yourself as well, okay? All right, Sagittarius, you know your girl loves you, sending you bunches of loves and hugs at this time in your life. Um, if you like a personalized reading, you can head over to themandulawakening.com um, where you can find all of our personal reading um, selections over there. Um, if you have resonated with this storyline, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. Don't forget, guys, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. We do have a 4K member giveaway on July the 5th. I think that you guys will be absolutely pleased with what we will be giving away. So if you would like to participate, definitely going to need to hit the subscribe button and have on your notifications so that you can participate on that live. Peace, love, and light, guys.